Hello, my friend, and welcome to Wisdom Trek. I am Guthrie Chamberlain, your guide to wisdom and creating a living legacy. Thank you for joining us for our five-day-per-week wisdom and legacy-building podcast. This is day 893 of our trek and time for our Philosophy Friday series. Each Friday, we will ponder some of the basic truths and mysteries of life and how they can impact us in creating our living legacy. As we continue on this trek that we call life, sometimes we have questions about life. So our Friday trek is a time where we can ask Gramps. Gramps will answer questions that you might like to ask your dad or granddad, but for whatever reason, it is not possible. No matter how old we are, I know that we would all like the opportunity to ask dad or Gramps questions about life in many areas. We will address areas such as finances, relationships, health and fitness, business and work, home repairs and renovations, seasons of life, and spiritual and biblical questions. As your fellow sojourner and mentor on this trek that we do call life, it is Gramps' goal to provide you with practical wisdom and advice about many areas of life. It is crucial that I receive a constant flow of questions, so please submit your questions to Guthrie at wisdom-track.com and Gramps will answer them on our Friday podcast. We are broadcasting from our studios at the Big House in Marietta, Ohio, with the recent high-profile celebrity suicides and the fact that suicide rates are increasing in all cultural and age groups, it seems as if more people are losing hope in our world today. So the question for today is, hey Gramps, how is it possible to maintain hope in our life and accept that we are worthwhile and have a purpose that is greater than ourselves? So the title for today's segment is, Don't Worry, Be Joyful. While I do not generally have an issue with depression and have never really experienced bouts of feeling worthless, I do have family members and friends that do. There are many causes for depression, such as mental or physical illness, what we eat, whether we're getting adequate sleep and exercise, even what we allow to enter into our minds through TV, videos, audio, reading, and listening to the advice of others, it will all impact us. In most Western cultures, people strive relentlessly to be happy but no external resources or circumstances will bring lasting happiness. In fact, I would encourage you to stop striving for happiness because at best, it is temporary as the morning fog. Instead, on a daily basis, we need to seek deep abiding joy. Joy can only be realized when we realize who we are in God's eyes. If God loves us and considers us worthwhile and precious, we need to have that same view of ourselves. Here are some Bible passages that will help you to change your thinking about yourself so that, in all circumstances, you will love and accept yourself for who you are, for who God designed you to be. You can never love others properly or be loved by others until you first love yourself properly. We are truly valuable because we are God's masterpiece. Ephesians chapter 2 verse 10 tells us, For we are God's masterpiece. He has created us anew in Christ Jesus so we can do the good things he had planned for us long ago. If you want to lessen your depression, you need to change the way you think. No longer can we think and act as other people do. Romans chapter 12 verse 2. Don't copy the behaviors and customs of this world, but let God transform you into a new person by changing the way you think. Then you will learn to know God's will for you, which is good and pleasing and perfect. Before you were ever born, God knew and loved you. In Psalms chapter 139, verses 13 through 14. You made all the delicate inner parts of my body and knit me together in my mother's womb. Thank you for making me so wonderfully complex. Your workmanship is marvelous. How well I know it. I realize that everyone who has ever lived deals with difficult times and situations. It is how we choose to deal with those times and situations that will make a difference between depression and having the strength needed to keep moving forward. Jesus' half-brother James wrote in James chapter 1 verses 2 through 4, Dear brothers and sisters, when troubles of any kind come your way, consider it an opportunity for great joy. For you know that when your faith is tested, your endurance has a chance to grow. So let it grow. For when your endurance is fully developed, you will be perfect and complete, needing nothing. Both in difficult and in pleasant times, we need to take our concerns and praise to God. As the Apostle Paul taught us in Philippians chapter 4, verses 6 and 7. Don't worry about anything. Instead, pray about everything. Tell God what you need and thank Him for all He has done. 
Then you will experience God's peace, which exceeds anything that we can understand. His peace will guard your hearts and minds as you live in Christ Jesus. God does have a perfect plan for you, and you are a unique bearer of His image. Even when you are experiencing difficulties, God is working His will through you. 1 Thessalonians chapter 5, verses 16 and 17. Always be joyful. Never stop praying. Be thankful in all circumstances, for this is God's will for you who belong to Christ Jesus. Well, that'll wrap up our segment for today. Next week, we will have a new question to Ask Gramps. If you have questions that you would like answered, please email them to guthrie at wisdom-track.com and Gramps will answer them on our Friday podcast with wisdom and philosophy that Gramps has gained over the many years of experience and study. I know that you'll find these insights interesting, practical, and profitable in living a rich and satisfying life. Our next trek will be Meditation Monday, where we will help you to reflect on what is most important in your life. So encourage your friends and family to join us and then come along with us on Monday for another day of Wisdom Trek, Creating a Legacy. If you'd like to listen to any of the past 892 treks or read their associated journals, they are all available at wisdom-trek.com. I encourage you to subscribe to Apple Podcasts or Google Play so that each day's trek will be downloaded to you automatically. And thank you so much for allowing me to be your guide, your mentor, but most importantly... I am your friend, as I serve you through the Wisdom Trek podcast and journal. And as we take this trek of life together, let us always live abundantly, love unconditionally, listen intentionally, learn continuously, lend to others generously, lead with integrity, and then leave a living legacy each day. I am Guthrie Chamberlain, reminding you to... Keep moving forward, enjoy your journey, and then create a great day every day. See you on Monday.